I'll test my name, no OTF, no none of that. I am not my 300. Finna turn me a man's up on Max, and we finna do us. We finna show our on level upgrade. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, Poodle LaFleur takes his Instagram story, you know, to let it be known and make an announcement that he's not OTF. I right, um, yes, we know Poodle LaFleur for being around the guys, you know, such as Dirk, Reese, and all of them back in the days, you know, prior to his accident and him being in the wheelchair. However, he's let it be real clear that he's not OTF. He's not none of that. He's just Lamron 300 and he's bringing him and his guys wherever, you know, to the top. Now, Lil Vonnie caught wind of this, and, you know, he took to his Instagram story to pretty much repost what Poodle LaFleur said, and he captioned it saying, quote, Lil Brun and Brain Fried, with the, you know, the emoji that got his head blown off and the, the disgusted emoji, whatever the case may be. Now, here's the thing, right? These guys will be the first one to tell you that, you know, the blogs is running with this, the blogs is saying that, but the problem is these guys put their business out there like that, man. Uh, I'm sure that everybody got each other's numbers. I'm sure it's nothing to get in touch with one another. So why do the social media antics? And then when the blogs or the YouTubers, we get to talking about it, these guys say, oh, well, you know, they run with narratives. They they starting problems. It is what it is. That's what they put in on social media. So Poodle LaFleur said what he said. You know, he's not rock. He's not OTF. No, none of that. Stop putting his name in their business or whatever. And Lil Varney responded saying that, you know, his brain fried. That's pretty much what it is. And if y'all pay attention, lately it's been a lot of that. You know, it's been a lot of division, but whether it's OTF, O Block, 300, it's a lot of division going on and people are turning a side eye to it for whatever reason. And to make matters worse, um, Hypno Carlito on Twitter pretty much took to Twitter to say some as well. That was kind of subliminal, but he didn't put no names in it. But now seeing what Lil Vani said about Poodle Flair, it kind of all makes sense because he also responded to Hypno Carlito's post on Twitter as well. Now, here's what he said. Hypno Carlito said, quote, been OTF a long time, seen a bunch of N-words come and go. Sala as a rock, hashtag loyalty with the hundred emoji. Now in the comments, Lil Vani posted saying for sure. Pretty much agreeing with exactly what he said. Now, who could he be talking about? We don't know. But once again, seeing the post that he put up via his Instagram story, it kind of all makes sense now. Now, when I see things like this, it makes me wonder what's going on between O Block or just OTF and the whole 300 and, you know, them guys over there. And I'm going to tell you why. If y'all go back to the situation that allegedly happened between Lil Dirk and Lil Reese, to where people are saying that Lil Reese actually choked out, you know, Lil Dirk in the club. Regardless of the fact that um, Lil Reese kind of said it didn't happen, whenever he was asked that question, he seems a little, you know, it don't seem genuine when he said it doesn't happen. I mean, it didn't happen. He seems like, I, right, you know what, that's my guy. I'm, I'm not going to expose it. But if you know, you know. It's one of those situations. And as I pay attention to what's been going on, it seems like, a lot of things are divided behind the scenes that maybe from the outside looking in, you may not see it. But if you pay attention to what's going on, you can see right through it. Now, a lot of the guys, if y'all remember, Lamron and them was saying that Lil Dirt can't come back to the hood. I mean, he can't come back to 300 Lamron and all that. He got to stay over there because he's not putting on for ways from and X, Y, and Z. So it's like secret tension was behind the scenes. So now when you pay attention to what's going on with Lil Reese and his situation with him being incarcerated, they, you know, the 300 guys was the only ones that was really, you know, 
supporting them, saying free Reese. You didn't really hear too much from the OTF guys, if you really pay attention. You didn't really hear too much free Reese. You don't see them supporting, whether it's the music, um, reposting it, none of that, right? So that kind of lets me know, when you see things like this, Lil Varney saying he fried and Poodle the Flair saying that he's not OTF, he's not even affiliated with them. There's some type of division going on that's not being said, but if you pay attention, you can see it for yourself. You see what I'm saying? So now with Lil Reese, it puts him in a weird position because if he's supposed to be rocking with OTF, but the guys that's really his guys, which is the Lamar 300, they're not rocking with um, OTF. Where does that put Lil Reese? You know, um, is Lil Reese really rocking with them the way we think? Or maybe behind the scenes, he's really not. And he's really riding with the other guys and the lamb on it. Who knows? You know, but one thing we can say, it's a lot of division going on. And it, something just isn't right. You got Lil Varney saying that he fried. You got Poodle LaFleur saying that he's not OTF. Don't bring his name up with them. X, Y, and Z. And rightfully so, though. Because it's already been, you know, he already expressed how he feel about um, certain guys being put on. You know, with the whole Lil Zay Osama situation, how he was signed to OTF, Poodle the Flair kind of expressed how he felt about that situation as well, you know, briefly. So it's like, it's a lot of secret animosity going on between the guys. I think they're really divided, whether they chose to say it or not, but you can kind of see what's going on. But the main concern that I'm, you know, iffy about is the whole Lil Reese situation, all right? We know he just been recently released. Um... Is he going to be around OTF like that and the old black guys? Is he really, are we still going to see their chemistry the same? Or are we going to see Lil Reese leaning more towards the Land Run 300 and rocking with them? Who knows? All right. But this is just kind of interesting to see. Like I said, I seen Poodle LaFleur put this post up um, yesterday, but I didn't really say much about it because he didn't specify who he was talking about. He just said he's not OTF. Don't put him in whatever, whatever. But now that you get a response from Lil Varney, it's like, I right, bet. Now it's like, these guys are really starting to show their true colors and what's going on. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So let's see what comes out of this, man. It is what it is. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out. <laughs>